EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports MMA is probably the most realistic fighting experience you can have in a video game. Mixed martial arts is an incredibly complex fighting uh, system. You have your traditional striking, uh, but you also have grappling on the ground, and you have grappling on at points in between the stand and strike. So you have the clinch battle and, and a lot of uh, free form and stuff. We have a group of people here who are very passionate about mixed martial arts. And at some point, it dawned on us that this would make a really good game. We pulled a small group together to do a demo. It was a rough playing prototype, uh, and we pulled stuff from every single game we could. It was, we will go to our sister product and we'll take Fight Night and we'll use the best of what they've got. We will go to Madden and we'll take what you know, they have and use the best of what they've got. We were gonna beg, borrow, steal, or buy anything that we needed in order to get this thing up and running as quickly as we possibly could. And uh, it actually worked out quite well and was very quiet. That led to green light, uh, which was a wonderful day. We went out and celebrated. Um, from that point, uh, we started to build the team fairly rapidly and look at our technologies. And Maya is one of the most powerful tools in the industry, and our technical artists especially live in there. There really wasn't an option for you know, going somewhere else. We use Maya for uh, almost everything that we do with our characters. We prototype everything that we're doing in Maya from facial animation to the muscle deformation, and in some cases we're using it to manipulate textures, warping UVs. With our swelling in particular, we used um, Maya's vertex color sets to define an area of the face. So we had target joints in our head, and when those were being hit, the game would pass damage data and drive our blend shapes. We then uh, converted those to, to runtime code so that the same thing that was happening in Maya was happening in our game. EA has a long history of making fight games and we have an enormous uh, motion capture library. We have files that are made on completely different characters, completely different skeletons, and we were able to use Motion Builder to bring in that data, transfer the animation from the one rig to the new rig with really good results, and it made it really easy to find a move that was what we were looking for, put it on our new character, get it in the game, and see how it would work quickly. If you watch mixed martial arts, the ground game is a key component to, to the fighting style. In a dynamic environment where we have somebody who's six foot five fighting someone who's five foot eight, we can't have a strike point that just sits out there in space that we move the hand to. We need to be able to put it on the guy's chin. So in order to get it to where it needs to be at the time it needs to be there, we use Human IK. Using Human IK, we'd be able to get all the poses, everything to look natural and correct and it looked the way that we wanted to. One of the things we were able to do was we used the auxiliary effectors in Motion Builder and we would, we would put an auxiliary effector on the wrist and parent it to our opponent. And so as one character is punching another, we are able to blend on the reach T, reach R properties on that auxiliary effector uh, through the course of the punch. And then once we got that data into our game engine, the results that we got in Motion Builder were identical to what we would get in game. The reach T, reach R properties carry over from our Motion Builder file to our game engine that uses Human IK. So previewing was pretty easy. We have a feature in our game called Live Broadcast. It gives everyone the opportunity to be a virtual professional athlete. You know, you will get an opportunity to fight on a large stage and it can be broadcast out to thousands of people at the same time. We'll have special guest commentators. Live Broadcast is an experience unlike any other. When you know that hundreds of people are out there watching, you can move beyond just somebody staying at home playing a video game. You can take it to another level.